This week on The Wire, big four act in national interest, home buyers shrug off fears and prices growing in all markets. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, big four act in national interest. So for once, the big four banks are acting with a social conscience, passing on the full RBA interest rate reduction. This follows the RBA's decision to drop the official interest rate 25 basis points to 0.5%. Normally, the major banks hold back at least five basis points, knowing that each basis point not passed on to borrowers will lift the bank's profits by about $10 million a year. And that's coming from the Australian Financial Review. This time, the big four have all matched the RBA's cut for home loans. AFR columnist Tony Boyd says, in the past, the banks have argued they must balance the interest of all stakeholders when considering how to adjust their loan rates. They were willing to cop the political backlash in the expectation that it will all blow over in a few days. But this time around, there was no wriggle room. Prime Minister Scott Morrison had gone out strongly talking up the national interest and Treasurer Josh Frydenberg had been on the phone to the big bank CEOs. The last thing the banks want is a solvency crisis in their loan books caused by any businesses short on cash flow. The banks are also concerned about the community expectations. Guys, now for our next story. Home buyers shrug off fears. So determined house hunters have continued to indulge in spirited bidding ACK auctions resulting in strong clearance rates and showing property buyers are generally unconcerned about the coronavirus. CoreLogic's national auction commentator, Kevin Brogan, says the strong clearance rates are clearly telling us that people are still actively participating in the market. Sydney performed strongly, returning a clearance rate of 83% from 811 auctions last week. The previous week, uh, Sydney held a higher number of auctions, uh, just over 1,000, and returned a lower clearance rate of 77%. Canberra had an 83 success rate, 83% success rate against 24 properties sold at auction. Brisbane's auction rate was low at 52%, although over a thousand properties were sold private, uh, privately. Upper North Shore agent David Walker says, whenever there is stock market volatility or other things going on in the economy, people bun, run back to real estate because they know money tends to be safe in good blue chip real estate. And with low interest rates, people can see money is cheap and readily available. And now for our final story for the week, prices growing in all markets. So property prices continue to grow in seven of the eight capital cities in February. And this uh, shows the, uh, sorry, this is coming from the uh, Core Logic RP data, data Daily Home Value Index. In the past three months, house prices have risen in all eight capital cities and in all state regional markets. Previous struggler Perth showed a turnaround during February, recording an uplift of 0.3%, that's housing prices. This means Darwin was the only capital with falling dwelling prices in February, but it recorded a rise for the three months of the 1st of March. Year on year, Sydney house prices leads the growth at 12%, followed by Melbourne, 11%, while Canberra and Hobart have both grown at 5%. Unit prices in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Hobart, Canberra, Perth, and Brisbane are all trending upwards, while there is also a noticeable, noticeable uplift in most of the regional unit markets. Compared to a year ago, Melbourne unit prices are 10.5% higher, Sydney is up 7%, and Hobart around 5%. CoreLogic also found that Hobart remains Australia's tightest rental market. CoreLogic Head of Research Tim Law says Hobart also has the strongest rental yields. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now remember to like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks.